so gender spectrum, right? Um, I think we all know what gender is. So the way that I've explained this before to uh, grillers, um, AKA normies who like to cook outside on weekends or their days off, uh, goes as such. Um, if you can imagine that gender is a spectrum, great. Now imagine it's not right. What? Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. So imagine gender isn't a spectrum. Imagine that there are only two genders, right? That's pretty easy for most conservatives or most folks who aren't uh, awoke, right? Um, Cause that's, that's probably where they're at anyway, right? Um, conflating sex and gender just for no reason um, based on what they learned in uh, fifth grade. Um, and then that's the way I like to, to, to start the conversation with. Okay. So imagine there are two genders. Um, they're, they're the polarity of gender, right? Literally the extreme uh, 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 position of gender uh, as far apart away from each other as possible. Um, you know, dynamically, uh, uh, you know, uh, directionally dynamic, right? Um, so you have, uh, let's say masculine, right? And then feminine. I'll do it like that. So I'm looking at the camera. So you have masculine on this side, feminine on this side. Now, those are some genders right there, right? You have the masculine, which is man, right? Or the feminine, which would be a woman, right? And the extreme in those positions would, would be those genders that you would call man and woman, right? Now, you want to take that a step further and say that gender is a spectrum. We'll imagine a spectrum between those two. Say uh, an entire rainbow, a big gay rainbow between those two positions, right? Okay. You got to start tanning your balls, bro. Pickle paper cat. What up, though? Hey, subscribed on YouTube. Thank you very much. Ah, I forgot we're there. We did a different thing. Thank you, though. What up? Good to see you. Uh, you got to start tanning your balls, bro. I have no idea what the fuck that is, though. Um, it's just doing that twice for no reason. Good times. Um, feel free and join us in site chat. Should be a link somewhere. Uh, maybe down below. Um, so we've got those two positions, right? Masculine on this side, feminine on this side. So men, women range, right? Um, so non-binary is going to be its own like spectrum of whatever, but we'll fuck all that for now. Let's just imagine that non-binary is a third gender. It's not, but let's just imagine that it is. Right. So if non-binary in this case is a third gender, which it's not, it would be somewhere within that spectrum, within that range between masculine and feminine. Right. A person might just say, I'm non-binary, and it might mean something completely different that we're going to go into in a minute. Or they might just mean that they're in a fixed position somewhere within that range. And that's perfectly cool too, right? So that's one way of being non-binary is just being a third gender or whatever, somewhere within that range of those two genders that you're very well aware of, right? It would be the mean of that range. Um, uh, stop using big words in my chat. Um, four letters i know um with this heading math just make it start. it makes my brain hurt i only got so many winkles okay uh, rest is smooth but all right so again non-binary is not a third gender but in this case it is so it's a, a fixed position somewhere within that range right okay that's one way of being non-binary now in the case of say a gender fluid person right mimi i know what it is uh and mode. Ah, you lose points. Um, but okay. So gender fluid would be, imagine that fixed position somewhere, that third gender that we made up that doesn't exist, um, somewhere in there, but instead of a fixed position, it's a fixed range, right? So if you're here, we need it. It's easier on a table. Um, it would be, like, say from here to here, or from here to there, 
or from here to here or, or even here to here. Right. And, you know, like it, it could be uh, any size range, any length range, whatever size doesn't matter. And anywhere within that spectrum. OK, it could be the whole goddamn spectrum. It could be straight up. Pam, Pam, fucking ping pong, right? Or just pong rather in this case. So that would be gender fluid. It would be a range within that spectrum, a fixed range of some kind based on that person's, you know, comfortable identity of self. Right. But it would be somewhere within that general range of masculine, feminine, the extremes. It would be a fixed range, probably. I can't imagine why it wouldn't be, because if it were a wider range, it would hit both ends. If it were a narrower, but whatever. But it just does what it does, right? So that's that's gender fluid. So like, so now we've got non-binary just as a fixed position. We've got non-binary as gender fluid, which is a range within those two extreme genders, right? Also, a person could be non-binary that is, say, a fixed position outside of that range, right? This is the part that typically blows the minds. I want you to think of a, and, and this is the real third gender, and it's, again, we'll, we'll get into that. Um, but I want you to imagine a third gender. So you've heard of uh, neo-pronouns, you've heard of xenogenders, neo-pronouns may or may not scare the shit out of you. Uh, Zeno or uh, Zeno genders may or may not scare the shit out of you at first, but but I'll try to make this as, as easy as possible. Also, Zeno pro Zeno Zeno pro Zeno genders. Imagine a third gender in a well, it doesn't matter the fixed position. Imagine a third gender that is outside of that range, right? Outside of that spectrum, somewhere down here, somewhere, right? So here's the spectrum: masculine, feminine, two extremes. We got non-binary is just wow, wow. Okay, uh, gender fluid is somewhere within there, doing its you know whole thing, little thing, little thing, little thing, little thing, whatever. Uh, Zeno genders imagine a third position outside of the range that projects itself infinitely. That's it. Okay, that's the range. It's literally a position that fixes itself outside of the gender spectrum, but is also open-ended. Okay, so an open-ended spectrum that features itself outside of that heteronormative gender uh, fixed positions, the spectrum that we built inside of those two, right? Those are also non-binary because they're not within that binary. The, the concept of non-binary is here's this thing. Here's this thing. You're this thing. You're this thing. If you're not masculine or feminine and just, then you are non-binary. Non-binary can be a fixed position between the spectrum. Non-binary can be a range, a fixed range between the spectrum. Non-binary can be a fixed position outside of the spectrum that blasts the fuck off into space and fucking floats on for eternity because and and unironically a lot of a lot of uh, gender abolitionists are really fucking weird about uh xeno genders i love it because it it it, it th and and i love that description of it because that in and of itself um allows me to imagine the concept of xeno genders being the final nail in the coffin as far as heteronormativity and um uh uh, you know, the push for, for gender non-conforming, uh, you know, uh, broadly anyway. It, it, it's proof in the pudding to me that, that gender really doesn't matter um, outside of the person who's expressing their, their gender identity. Um, <clears throat> and it's and it's a great example of, of, of such, at least the way that I, the way that I understand it, the way that I think of it. Um, because again, I, I don't believe that, that gender matters. I think that that people who think that gender mattering is so fucking cringe, um, which is why I made the comment earlier about people who unironically say male and female, um, all those things that Matter Ursa says about all the people that Matter Ursa just feels a certain type of way for. 
I just, I, I, it freaks me out, you know, and, and typically I only ever see it from people who are essentializing, um, gender anyway, either, either, um, tr either, either shitting on, uh, transphobes, of course, we don't see that on, on social media or, or rad femmes finding some goofy fucking way to describe, uh, you know, how, how, you know, justify their, all the reasons why they hate the men uh, that they've ever met in their lives. They're not people don't human. It's true. True. Very true. Or also, um, incels do it too, um, because they're also mostly transphobic. Um, it's kind of in their nature, which which goes hand in hand with red fems. Um, they're 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 fucking literally made for each other. Um, but yeah, it, it like I say, xenogenders to me uh, solidify the concept that that gender truly does not matter, um, and that it shouldn't, and and it by by allowing that, um into the space of, of, uh, gender abolition. I think, I think it, it helps, uh, I think it helps to justify the means, uh, by which, uh, we can push that concept. Um, it, it the, the, the utility is in, in, um, not allowing for, uh, heteronormativity, uh, to win. And I think that, uh, xenogenders are, are a great example of that because it's literally outside of the spectrum. And like I say, it, it, the possibilities are endless. It's, it's, it's a gender expression that is more of a self expression. Um, broadly, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I mean, I get that. And that's that honestly, I, I may have went a little bit uh, fast on that, but I've also, I've also, um, done this about a thousand times, um, with people IRL, uh, who are like, Hey, wait a minute, what do you do? <laughs> and then I mention it and they start with the questions. I still like getting yelled at when I, yeah, fuck those people though. Um, real quick answer on that. Um, I don't like getting yelled at when I don't know and fuck up. Um, fuck those people. Like seriously, if you if you if you fucking uh, misgender someone, that, that's also another wonderful thing about non-binary people. Um, if you misgender someone, um, and they're like, oh man, yeah, uh, the, my pronouns are actually this, and and then like you do it on purpose, like you 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 suck, right? But like if you misgender someone and they're like, oh my god, like fuck those people for real. Like the, the, you know, they're, they're literally just looking for a reason. Um, th th there's a difference there. Those, those are actually the woke skulls that we're going to be talking about. Um, uh, you know, partially and, and part of, part of the, the, the woke skulls that I, uh, that I broadly uh, mention anyway, um, whenever I talk about this stuff, I mean, there, there are a ton of people on social media who are saying a male pronoun. <sighs> I'm going to just read it. Or saying a male pronoun to a woman. Um, yeah. So, so if you see a trans woman and you, you just use the wrong pronoun. Yeah. I mean, you know, just like, Oh, Hey, my bad. And you know, they'll make a big deal about it or whatever. But like, if they make a big deal about it, like, you know, I mean, don't, you know, say fuck you immediately, but like, you know, be like, Oh, well, you know, shit. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I'm still new. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to da da da. You know, I, I watch this Harry Gay streamer on fucking uh, Twitch and shit, you know, and uh, another, uh, uh, you know, another short haired gay streamer with a red light, um, you know, like it's, it's, it's good. Um, no biggie. And, and if they don't like that fucking answer, then fuck them. They, they, they can kiss your ass. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, um, just, just explain it. And if it, you know, be like, Hey, my bad. And, you know, I'm trying to, it's, it's kind of new to me, IRL. And, and, you know, I, I'm actually really fascinated by uh, a lot of the things with the LGBTQ, you know, whatever, just fucking go into the spiel, you know, but like, yeah, if they want to harp on it, like literally just fuck them then like that, that you've, you found a woke cult. They exist. It, it's so weird to, to see it in real life though. Um, they, they pretty much, you, you, it's a rare find and they may only exist, uh, online. So, you know, if you see one in real life acting like that, um, it's a, it's a rare, super rare. But yeah, I mean, you know, if you, if you misgender somebody, you misgender somebody. That's, that's honestly why it's a, a, a better idea to just opt for the, you know, the they, them pronouns anyway, um, broadly. Um, it's not unheard of in English. It's only been going on for like, I think, 600 years. Um, using they, them pronouns in a th uh, third person um, uh, to reference uh, even, even single individuals. Um, but yeah, you know, it's a, it, it's a thing. I mean, it happens that like, that's just the human nature. Like sometimes you make a mistake, sometimes you, whatever, sometimes you, you mean to say the right thing and just the, the wrong shit comes out anyway. You know, people should be more understanding of that. 
I mean, you've got to think about it like this also. Somebody um, wants you to be understanding of them. Why would they not grant you the same uh, charitability? You know what I mean? Does that make sense? That's that's kind of where I'm at. You know, if you're doing it to be an asshole, obviously, you know, well, which I, you know, I don't think you are, but I'm just saying like pe people who do that because they, they do. Um, we mentioned Twitter earlier, but people do do that. And it's it's pretty fucked. Um, and, and even if you're not, that may be just be what they're used to or whatever. Um, in that case, you know, you just reassure them and, you know, whatever. But yeah, if they're, if they're just going to harp on about it or some shit, then, you know, fuck them. They probably weren't worth talking to anyway. <laughs>